Way down on the planet Lakondu, there's a city called Mini Life. It's a place where all your plastic friends can hang and have a good time. So kick off your shoes and pull up a seat, cause it's time for Mini Life TV! Some fun. It's time to get things done. It's time to make ourselves the best there ever was. Doesn't matter who you are, who you wanna be. You're all welcome here at Mini Life TV. It doesn't matter who you are, who you wanna be. You're all welcome here at Mini Life TV. Last time on Mini Life TV. Chris told the story of how he met his old pal, Abel. Turns out, Abel saved Chris from becoming the lunch of a less-than-level-headed food salesman. It was during this period of time that Abel was on his journey to find Master Quoker. But before it was revealed how Abel found his future teacher, the doorbell rang. Is it the pizza our heroes have been waiting for? Find out right now on Mini Life TV! <laughs> you guys order a pizza? Ugh, jeez. Yeah, uh, why are you dressed like that? It's our policy. Everyone who works for Chunky Monkey Pizza has to dress up like a monkey. But you're wearing a gorilla suit. Oh, man. You're right. Dang it. Tell you what. You give me that pizza for free and I won't tell anyone. You got yourself a deal, man. Here you go. Awesome. The pizza has arrived. Finally, I'm starving. Ian? When did you get here? Sometime between the last episode and this one. Abel? Master Coker? This is Ian. So, you two live together. Are you... Yep. Best friends. I'll get us some plates. Abel, why don't you continue the flashback? Er, I mean, story. Right! So the next day, Chris and I went to Wabing City to see Fanky, the fortune teller. Greetings, customer. I am the great Fanky. Nothing is beyond my sight. My fortunes bring either pain or delight. When I gaze into my crystal ball, past, present, future, I know it all. You have the money, right? Hmm? Oh, yes. Ten thousand dollars? Yup. It's all here in my bag. Good. I hate doing my opening speech just to find out people can't pay. So what is your name? Don't you know? Aren't you a fortune teller? Who are you? You want me to waste your friend's money by making me guess his name? No, 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 no. He doesn't want that. He, he was just kidding. Well then, please tell me what you seek. I haven't got all day, you know. I'm looking for someone. A great sorcerer named Master Quoker. Quoker, eh? Not a very common name. Should be simple enough. By the way, what is your name? Abel. And I'm Chris. I do not care about your name. Well. Now then. Ahem. <clears throat> Powers of the gods and bricks, come forth and speak. Show me the man that Abel seeks. Yes, 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 hmm, I don't see him. What do you mean you don't see him? Could he be dead? No, if he were dead I could still find his body. In fact, he'd be much easier to find that way. But in this case, he is nowhere to be found. What does that mean? How can he be nowhere? Well, let me get to it and I will tell you. I only searched for him on Legando. Since I cannot find him here, that must mean he is not on this planet anymore. He left the planet? Great. I've come all this way for nothing. Hold on, hold on. Do not give up just yet. This simply means that I will have to expand my search beyond this planet out into the cosmos. You can do that? Yes, but I will have to charge you an extra $250. $400 if I have to search outside of the solar system. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. As long as you can find him. Very well. It's been a while since I've had to do a search like this. Most people just have me search for their socks. Anyways, here we go. Planet to planet, star to star, tell me if Quoker is near or far. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 I am seeing something. Yes, I have found him. You did? Great. Where is he? Shut up and I will tell you. Hmm. I see. Very strange. He is living on an uninhabited planet called Anosa. Anosa? Yes, there he resides on a floating island. I went, by the way, it is out of our solar system, so I won't have to charge you the extra 400. <laughs> That's great! 
You want to pay more? No, that you found him! I'm finally going to be able to meet the legendary Master Quoker! Not to be a buzzkill, but how do you know he'll train you? He just has to! Once he learns of my journey and how far I've traveled, he'll have to! I just know it! So, for the rest of the week, Chris and his uncle helped me to get ready for my trip and find a cheap transport ship. So when you found Master Quoker, did he instantly agree to train you? Um, not exactly. I'll give you the short version. Hey, Master Quoker! I'm Abel! Will you train me because you're so awesome? No, but please! No, I'm going to be a pain in your butt till you say yes! Fine! Yes! End of story. So, if you're training to be a sorcerer, then why are you entering the world tournament? Master Quoker says that anyone who's going to learn his ways has to be in total control of their body, both physically and mentally. He said the only way I could prove that I'm ready to unlock my abilities is by winning the tournament. You have to win the whole tournament? Yes. Anything less means he's not ready to learn my secrets to becoming a sorcerer. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to take my medication. Pumpkin Bot, come here. So, Abel, I was just wondering, what's up with Quoker's face? Yeah, I was wondering about that too. He's the same species as us, right? Yeah, I don't know. He never talks about it. Well, I hope getting powers doesn't mean you end up looking like that. No, there's pictures and stuff of him from years and years of being a sorcerer when he looked completely normal. But I think whatever did happen to him is the reason he left the planet in the first place. Wow, that's crazy, man. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I don't care about the mushrooms, I'm eating now. It appears to be a joyful and exciting reunion for our heroes as they relax the night before the World Martial Arts Tournament. But little do they know, Baby Crotch Rash is back and will soon be on his way to enact his revenge. Is it enact or exact? I'm not really sure, but either way, things are looking to be pretty intense for our heroes. It's the end. You can speak.